I call this diagram is made of either this piece of square or this piece of square right and this is since this is a square so that means basically this is a 20 20 square 20 cm by 20 cm square okay so the question you ask yourself is the question you ask yourself is how many 20 20 cm square you have okay for this 3.6 meter okay how many okay so probably you need you, so you need to make sure that the units are consistent first if this is cm so this one also must be in cm right so it's 360 cm right right so how many 20 20 squares you have for this for this breath how many i'm asking you are you, are, 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 the, the one I'm seeing? Yeah. I mean, out of 360, how many 20, 20 cm you have? Do you bring your calculator? Yes. Then, then why you don't bring up your calculator? 18. Okay, good. So, get your, get yourself, get your calculator ready. I, I wanted to train my, my mental calculation because... Yes, right. But uh, in case you are faced with... Uh, Harder question, probably you can you you can actually punch your calculator. Go go attempt, go attempt. So you have eighteen of them, right? Then what about here? So this is five twenty. So you divide by twenty, right? Yes. So it's four hundred sixty. I mean forty six. I mean no twenty six. Yes, good. So you have 20, 26 of them, right? Okay. Now the question is. I think this question is half done. If you manage to find out. 18, 20, 20, 26, 20, 20 here. But you look at the pattern. What's the pattern for this? Okay, let, okay. so in a way, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, until 26, right? Yeah. Because we have 26 of them, right? Then for the, for the vertical, we have 1, 2, 3, da, 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 until 18th, right? Okay? Then now we need to look at the pattern in each row and in each column. Okay? Yes. So what is the pattern for the for the first column? I see uh is this one, then this one, then this one and this one. So can you see is so if I continue the pattern now, what I will get is this. And I will get. Am I right? Yep. Am I right? So basically, you will end with. So you dot 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 dot, dot and you will end with this. Does it make sense? Good. So that is for our first column. What about the second column? Okay, the second column is, if I use a different color, the second column is this. You have this, and then you have this, right? And then you have, the, for, the, for the second row, you will have, it's maybe I use a different color. You have this, and you have this. And then after that, it will repeat itself. So if I ask you to write, the, the, the I mean to draw the last Two, uh, it will be like this, right? Does it make sense? Correct. Then after that, if you look at the third row, uh, if you look at the third row, what do you see? The third row is the same as the first row. A it's not so okay maybe the total area is the same but the pattern is not the same can you see the pattern is not the same it's here and here and then after that it's here to here so in a way if you ask you to draw the last the se the, the, the the second the two the last two uh, it will be here am i right yeah. then what about the fourth the fourth is the, the, the fourth row uh, is the same as the the first row uh, the column sorry 
Can you see the same as the first column? Yes. Right? Right? Yes. And then for the fifth one, it will be the same as the second one, right? So what it means is, what, what, what this means? The fourth will follow the first. The fifth will follow the second. The sixth will follow the, the third. So basically, the pattern will repeat itself. itself for every three columns. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Yes. Ah, so your job is to figure out so since you have 26 of them, right? So 26 divided by 3 is 12. So basically you have 12 repeated patterns. Alright? So meaning your job now is to figure out the first three. So your job is to figure out the first three. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah. Because the rest just repeat itself, ma. So you just times 12. Does it make sense? So how do you get the area for the first row, which is a uh, first column? Okay, I always make that. The first column. The circle or the They they want to find the shaded area, right? You can say painted parts of the town. So you know like they want the shade shaded part. Yeah. Yeah. So for the shaded part, okay, so this is one area. I mean well, this is one circle, right? This is another circle, right? Okay. Okay. By the way, it's not circle. I'm so sorry. It's a half circle because this and this add to half circle, right? Then this and this add to half circle. So two rows, one half circle. So four rows, you have one entire circle. Am I right? So four rows, you have one entire circle, right? And you have eighteen of them, right? Right? So you see, 18 of them, so 18 divided by 4, you don't have a good whole number. 18 divided by 4, you don't have a good whole number. So that means you don't have complete circles in a way. So instead of doing full circle, probably you can do half circle. So two rows, one half circle, another two rows, one half circle. So you have how many half circle over here? So you have 18 rows, right? So one, two rows will give you one. So you have nine half circles. Does it make sense? So for the first column, so you can actually write down for the first column, I have nine half circles, right? Now, second column. We will do the, do the calculation later. For the, for the second column, this is half circle, right? This is half circle, right? So in a way, they add to one full circle. So that means two rows, two rows will be one circle. So you have 18. So 18 divided by 2 is 9. So you have 9 full circles for the second column. Right? And then what about the, the third row, a third column? For the third column, these two rows will give you half circle, right? So actually the, the area, the pattern is not the same, but the area is the same as the first column. So it's also nine half, right? So now your job is to find out the total area of the first column, which is nine times half circle means half times pi r squared. Pi r squared is full circle. So half is half, half, half circle is half times pi r squared. Does it make sense? So just punch your calculator, you will get the answer. 9 full circle is 9 pi r squared. Okay? Just punch the calculator, and at the same time, 9 times half pi r squared. Right? And then you just add this up, and you're going to times it times 12. Because you have 12 of them, right? That's it. That's the approach. Okay? Good. Good.